Oh, well, the boy's kind of small. George Shrinks. Oh, but it doesn't show at all. George Shrinks. Because he's always acting tall. George Shrinks. Oh, George Shrinks, George Shrinks, he's called. Oh, if a problem should be found. George Shrinks. Oh, he's the boy to head around. George Shrinks. Oh, something big or something small. George Shrinks. Oh, George Shrinks, George Shrinks, he's called. George Shrinks seems to find a way to make his dream. Come true each day. His brother Junior does a call. George Shrinks. Well, Dad blows a bugle call. George Shrinks. And Mama keeps an eye on all. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. best things and one of the worst things about being a kid is there's always something new coming your way. I mean, let's face it, most of us kids haven't been around all that long. So lots of stuff is new. Now new stuff can be exciting, but it can be a little scary too, which means you don't know exactly what to expect. And today, Junior and I were doing something really new and different. We were going on a road trip with Dad and his band to a great big hotel in Capital City. But first, we had to have breakfast, and we had a special one planned for this morning. Ha! Huh. Strawberries, George? <clears throat> Not yet, buddy. First, I need to whip up a little whipped cream. Then we can set up the strawberry avalanche. <sighs> I hope I finish it before it finishes me. How are the pancakes coming? The jacks have left. Flappy jacks, flappy. Honey, have you seen my groovy blue zoot suit? The snazzy groovy blue zoot suit or the wacky groovy blue zoot suit? Uh, the snazzy groovy blue zoot suit. In the closet, left side, three hangers in between my mocha moo moo and my cranberry caftan. Thanks. See that, Junior? Like little mountains. Just a bit more. Need help with that whipping cream, George? Nope. I, I think I got it whipped. Sweetie, have you seen my wacky white wingtips? Okay, there's a full stack of flapjacks waiting for your great grandma shrink special sauce. I'm gonna help your father for a minute. Coming, Harold. Okay, this cream is whipped. See, Junior? Now I just need to add a little. Whoa! Ugh. Whoa! Uh -oh. oh! Wait till I'm out of the way! Whoa! Uh oh! Oh no! Oh. Ah! Yuck! Orange peel on my whipped cream. That's not in the recipe. Neither is that. My great grandma shrinks a special sauce is ooh. pretty good. No, it's really good. That's it. The new improved great grandma shrinks secret special strawberries and cream syrup sauce. Of course, no meal was complete until the official shrinks family taste tester gave it the seal of approval. Mmm, yummy, George. And voila. A new secret syrup sauce was born. A sauce so secret, even I wasn't exactly sure how I made it. <clears throat> Hi, Mom. Uh-oh. Uh, breakfast is ready. Like they say, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Or in this case, pancakes and with uh, everything. Ah. That hits the spot. Say, what you put in the sauce there, Georgie boy? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. Oh, they're playing our song. All right, road, road trip. trip. Get your things, boys. Come on, Junior. Adventure waits for no shrinks. Yep, Junior and I were going on the road with Dad's band. They were playing a big gig in Capital City. We were along for the ride. 
Junior go bye-bye. Uh, that should just about do it. Ready for anything. That's one. Two. Three. And away we go. It looked like the new adventures were going to start before we even left the driveway. Now, I've traveled in a bus full of kids before, but I've never traveled in a bus full of adults. And I don't think I've ever seen Dad's band awake before noon. Okay, uh, everybody here? Louise? Howdy, 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 hi. Jack? Howdy, 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 ho. Slim? Hey, 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 hey. Willie! <whistles> There's Willie! Everybody's ready? Let's hit it! Uh, uh, guys, guys? I meant for Perdita uh, to hit the gas. Sorry. Sorry. Guess we're just a little bit jazzed. Us too. All right. What's a road trip without a little traveling music? What do you boys want to hear? Bottle, bottle, bottle. <laughs> bottle it is. Oh. Count it. One, two, three, four. Big city, here we come. Okay. I spy with my little eye. Something that starts with B. Doggy! No, <laughs> little buddy. Doggy starts with D. Uh, a barn? Nope. Bluebird! Nope. <laughs> You're right, Willie. Bugle! Good guess, Einstein. stuff even though I'm still a kid but I've only been to a big city a few times and I've never stayed in a fancy joint like this before Bonjour, and welcome to the Grand Hotel do you have reservations yes I do but I think I'll stay here anyway <laughs> I think I'll stay <laughs> oh no oh what have I done <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you get that? I, I think I'll stay here. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, he's been waiting to use that one for years. I think I'll stay here. <laughs> oh, that's just silly. Wow, the Yoza. How big is the Grand Hotel? No, no, monsieur. It's not the Grand Hotel. It's the Grand Hotel. Grand, as in the French. Well, the Grand Hotel sure is grand. Huh, Junior? Grandy grand. Maybe it wasn't a real city slicker, but I knew the first rule of travel is to keep your eye on your bags. <gasps> my supercar and my suitcase! Someone took off with my stuff! Even though I knew the first rule of city travel, I did a lousy job of following it. I've been in Capital City exactly 30 seconds, and already the Zupercar car and my suitcase had disappeared. Hey, what's the big idea? That is my Zupercar. car. Of course it is, Monsieur Shrinks. Would you like it washed or taken straight to your room? Oh, you were just bringing the bags inside for us. <laughs> well, straight to the room is fine. Thanks. Uh, 
I guess hotel living is gonna take a bit of getting used to. Bonjour. Hello. <laughs> Au revoir. Oops. Goodbye. <laughs> Bonjour. Hello again. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Back again and again. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> One more! It was a whole different world in here. <laughs> when they decided to make this place broad, they didn't fool around. I've seen enough movies to know what to do here. That's what I'm looking for. Look out below! Whoa! Bonjour. Bonjour. Whoa! Bonjour. May I be of some assistance? Uh, yes, uh, we have a reservation. Uh, right here. Shrinks. Party of four. Very good, Master Shrinks. Here you are. The elevator is right that way. Your room is on the third floor. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, but don't I need a key? Here is your room key, Master Shrinks. Shall I show you how it works? Uh, no, thanks. I can take care of myself. Got the keys! Now that we're checked in, let's check out the room! Bonjour. Floor. Oh, yes, very nice. Tiley. Uh... No, sir. Your floor. We're on the third floor. Very good, sir. Three oh four and three oh five. That's us. Mr. and Mrs. Shrinks are in that room. The master's shrinks are in here. May I get the door for you, sir? No, thanks. I got it under control. Very good, sir. Very, very good, sir. <laughs> it was nothing. Junior, want to do the honors? Me do, me do, me do. I could definitely get used to this. Mr. and Mrs. Shrink's bedroom is through that door. Ooh, mama. Hey there. Or should I say, <clears throat> bonjour. Juices and snacks. Whoa! Tweets! How about that? A fridge right in the bedroom. Yes, sir. The pool is through here. There's a pool? On the third floor? This is our terrace pool. There's also a lap pool on the roof, as well as an exercise room. Junior and I couldn't believe our luck. I wasn't sure what adventures a road trip had in store, but I never dreamed of this. Housekeeping will turn down and make up the beds. Somebody makes our beds for us? Of course, sir. We have 24-hour food service to your room. Simply dial room service. We can eat in our rooms? Of course, sir. That was it. I was officially in kid heaven. Huh? Oh, right. Uh, hang on. Here you go. Uh, don't chew it all in one place. Thank you, sir. If I can be of any assistance, don't hesitate to call. Enjoy your stay. I get the feeling I will. Ooh, never too late to practice, right? Junior and I are going to have a little poolside splash. See you on the flip side, honey. How about you, George? I don't know. I can't decide between having a snack in bed, a mini juice box by the pool, or a mineral water in the steam room. Yes, life is hard. Well, if you're hungry, order some room service, but leave room for dinner. Let's get some sunscreen on you, Junior. Then it's time for... Swimming pool! I couldn't wait to get started on all that great hotel stuff. But first, I had one little thing I needed to take care of. Whee! <laughs> After a cool afternoon on the slopes, 
There's nothing like a little fun in the sun to warm you up. Yep, this sure was the life. Even the animal guests got grand treatment. Yeah, do see if you can get them some exercise, huh? I I'm afraid hotel living is making them sore. <laughs> guys are some cool kitties. What are the names? That's Neffy and Tut. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> That's my darlings. Making friends and getting some exercise. Uh, excellent. Come along. I imagine you've worked up quite a little appetite, huh? I don't know about them, but I've definitely worked up a little appetite. Where can a guy get a meal around here? That's right, in his room! Now I know why they call them napkins. Okay, we have time to run through the set once more, then we'll be ready to get the joint a jumping. No handkerchief, Harold? Hmm, must have left it in the room. No time to get it now. I'll see if I can get someone to run it down. Shrink sweet, George speaking. How can I help you? Oh, George, I left my lucky handkerchief in the room. Could you run it down for me? I just need it before the set starts. Sure thing, Dad. Be down in a minute. Thanks. Daily dip, thanks. There goes Dad's lucky handkerchief. I guess it's only lucky for him. Hey, this must be the basement where the staff do their work. No wonder they seem to appear from thin air. Uh. I would have loved to have stayed and taken a look around, but I had to find a way to get Dad's hanky and me back upstairs before I missed the big show. Uh-oh. It looks like this is the end of the line. Well, maybe not for the dishes, but for me. Whoa, 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 whoa! trip behind the scenes at a big hotel was about to go right down the drain when... Ah! Niffy! Tut! <laughs> Am I ever glad to see you two? Thanks, guys. You really saved There my... will be no cats in my kitchen! 
When the guests see the cat, they think of the rat. My sauce, no! Sacré bleu, pas la sauce à la René! Please, anything but my sauce! Excuse me, sir. Sorry the cats made such a mess. They were just trying to save me from the spin cycle. It does not matter. My dessert, she is fini. All is lost. It is impossible to finish the dinner now. Well, it does look pretty bad, but, uh, maybe you can whip up another batch. No, this is even more impossible. The sauce à la Renée, she takes three days to prepare. And the dinner, she is ruined too. Sacré bleu, what can I do? <laughs> well, maybe I could help. My dad's band is playing upstairs, and if there's no food, it's going to be one lousy gig. You'd be surprised what a whiz I am in the kitchen. And what is your name, my adventurous little friend? They call me George. George Shrinks. Well, Monsieur Shrinks, my name is René. René Flambé, chief chef of the Grand Hotel. What is it you had in mind? Well, chef, what's on the menu? My petit friend, you have been such the help. I wish to present you with the chef's highest honor, the official chef's hat. Oh, gee, thanks. It, it was pretty fun. So, looks like the meal's ready to roll. Oui, but still, we are missing the dessert, the crepes we have, but the sauce secret, she is gone for <laughs> Hmm, strawberry, syrup, heavy cream, vanilla, even oranges. Looks like the makings of another secret sauce I know of. Hold your hors d'oeuvres, Renee. As we shrink say, sometimes a bad situation can make one super sauce. It looks interesting. Hmm. Magnifique. What do you call it? Uh, uh, pancakes with Great Grandma Shrinks' new and improved super secret sauce. No, no. A great dessert must have a great name. Crepes by George. Magnifique. Mm, sounds good to me. And dinner will be served on time. Double magnifique. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, it was nothing, really. What can I do to repay you? Whatever your test buds desire, I will make for you. There might be one thing you could do for me. Anything. Uh, stop that hanky! Where has George gone to? He said he'd meet us at dinner, but I don't see him anywhere. Dinner is served. At your service? Oh. George! 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 That's Chef George. Back in a flash. Thanks, Georgie boy, just in time. Okay, boys, and a one, and a two, and a one, two, three, four. Dig in, everyone. The food is magnifique. Trust me, I know the chef. May I? Of course. Chef René, this dinner is magnifique. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Chef Georges. Is there anything else you would like this evening? Come to think of it, I am having a little craving for pâté, fish, and maybe some heavy cream. Mm -hmm. 
like I expected, the road trip adventures were totally unexpected. But with a little determination and ingenuity, things turned out pretty swell. Just goes to show, when life hands you lemons, you really can make lemonade. Or at least you can make Great Grandma Shrinks' new and approved secret sauce. Uh, oh, and the leftover liver pate and cream? That went to a couple of newfound friends.